Hello friends, now in this series that is Mathematics Part 1 Algebra of Maharashtra State SSC Board, we are going to start the first chapter which is Arithmetic Progression. Chapter Atisha Sopai, Apela Arithmetic Progression Shikacha Adhi. First, we have to learn about the sequences. Okay, Adhi upon sequence Maja Kade Bogia. What is sequence? Something in the series with the particular order is called as the sequence. Okay. In short, the sequence can be defined as a collection of numbers in definite order with some definite rule. For example, these three are the sequences. Now, these are the series of numbers arranged in a specific order with definite rule. For example, if you take this, these are all multiplied these are all multiples of 5 that is 5 10 the difference is 5 and it is up to 100 only now in this what is the definite rule here is the number is double of the number before it that means 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 16 to the 32 and it goes to infinity here the every number a, between every two number the difference is 4 that is 1 5 9 13 and next may be 17 and so on now can you see here this is called as the first term and it is denoted by t1 the second term is denoted by t2 third term is denoted by 3 t3 and so on and uh, this is called as nth term okay but can you see that there is no limit for first two sequences but the third sequence is limited so these two these kind of sequences will be called as infinite sequence whereas this is finite sequence Okay, just keep in mind the terminology of the sequence because arithmetic progression what we are going to learn is nothing but a special kind of sequence. Okay, that is what we sequence and we are going to arithmetic progression. We are going to take a look at the first term of tn, t1, t2, t3 up to tn. And we are going to take a ज्या कोणत्या सिक्वेन्सला अंत नाही आहे त्याला इन्फाइनाइट सिक्वेन्स म्हणणार आणि ज्याची शेवटची टर्म फिक्स आहे मग आपल्याला माहिती आहे शेवटची टर्म काय आहे त्याला आपण फाइनाइट सिक्वेन्स म्हणणार सो लेट अस लर्न समथिंग मोर अबाउट द सिक्वेन्सेस नो वन मोर टर्म कम्स इनटू सिक्वेन्स दैट इज एस एस एन एस इज नथिंग बट द सम इफ आई से एस वन that means S1 will be T1, S2 will be T1 plus T2, S3 will be T1 plus T2 plus T3 and hence Sn is equal to T1 plus T2 plus T3 and so on till tn so sn is nothing but the sum of all the terms in that particular sequence now here you can observe one more thing that is s1 is t1 our s2 is t1 plus t2 so what will be s2 minus s1 t1 will get cancelled so our s1 is t1 S2 minus S1 is T2. S3 minus S2. What will be S3 minus S2 is T3. Now this is 3. This is 2. Now what will be Sn minus Sn minus 1 is equal to Tn. Just remember this thing. We may have to use this formula somewhere. Okay. Now, if 
एस एन माइनस एस माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू टी एन वी कैन इजिली फाइंड आउट द टी एन दैट इज वॉट इज द एंथ टर्म ऑफ दैट पर्टिक्युलर सिक्वेंस इफ समर गिवन एज अ जनरल फॉर्म द एस एन विल बी इक्वल टू एन इन टू एन प्लस वन अपॉन टू so please note down these two formulas first is sn minus s minus 1 is equal to tn and as a general form sn is equal to n into n plus 1 upon 2 now what is the difference between the sequence and sets first of all i told you these are the infinite sequences these are the finite sequences but what is the sequence the sequence has to be a number of a series of numbers in a definite order and separated by a definite rule so you cannot interchange the numbers you cannot interchange the terms of the sequence but in sets yes you can rearrange the terms in sequence the numbers can be repeated for example if i take a uh, Three, 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 three. This is also a sequence, right? But the numbers are repeated. But in sets, the numbers are not repeated. Also, one thing: elements of this sequence are always in the specific order, whereas in the sets, the numbers need not to be in a specific order. By the way, we are not going to uh, learn the set and sequences comparison. I have just. explain what is the difference of sets and sequence sequence is also a set of numbers but it is a series it is not just a collection of numbers okay they have got a specific order and they are in a specific rule okay now let us see few examples on this let us consider one very simple sequence that is 2 4 8 16 32 जस्ट हे बगुन सुधा तुम्हें हेच्चा टर्म संगू शका वेरी इजी बिकॉज एवरी नंबर इज द डबल ऑफ प्रिसेडिंग वन राइट नाउ लेट एस सी ये तो फॉर्म्यूला कसा लिया हाउ टू राइट द फॉर्म्यूला फॉर द टी एन टर्म लेट एस सी दैट यू नो दैट टी वन इज इक्वल टू टू टी टू वॉट इज टी टू इज टी वन इंटू टू right what is t3 t3 is t2 into 2 so there is one definite rule is there so what will be tn can you see that this is 2 this is 1 okay this is 3 this is 2 so if there is a tn definitely one number before that will be t n minus 1 and rest is same into 2 so now if you want to find out this term now this term is already given this is the fifth term this is a t5 this is already given but let us find out this if we want to find a t5 what will be the procedure t5 will be equal to t5 n is equal to 5 n minus 1 is 4 that is t4 into 2 what is t4 is 16 into 2 is 32 and in this way you can find out any term of a particular sequence similarly you can find a sum of the first five numbers first 10 numbers first 20 numbers of any sequence so let us solve a few examples and then we can move to 1.1 okay let us do that let me tell you before uh, we move to solved examples for this chapters there are 12 marks in your paper there are 12 marks for this chapter now let us see one example now the example will be something like this for a particular sequence the nth term is denoted by some formula now here they say that nth term is given by that is tn is given by 3n plus 1 now they are given one formula for tn and we have to find out 
the first four terms of this sequence. Okay. So, what will be the first four terms? T1, T2, T3 and T4. How will we find out? Formula is simple. You have to just substitute here. 3n plus 1. It is very simple. We can do it orally, but let us write it first. Okay. T1 will be replace n by 1. So, 3 into 1 plus 1, that is 4. T2 will be 3 into 2, because n is 2, plus 1, 7. 3 into 3 plus 1, 10. And 3 into 4 plus 1, 13. So, what will be our sequence? 4, 7, 10, 13 and so on. This is our sequence. But how will you write the answer? The first four terms of the sequence are 4, 7, 10, 13. Don't write this. Because they are asked only first four terms. Very simple. The sequence and arithmetic progressions are very very simple. And do not keep it for option. Okay. So your answer will be the first four terms of the sequence denoted by tn is equal to 3n plus 1 are 4, 7, 10 and 13. Okay. Or you can write the first four terms of given sequence are 4, 7, 10 and 13. That's all. That is the answer. This can be there for two marks. Let us see one more example. Find the first three terms of the sequence whose nth term is given by, that means they are given tn is equal to 1 upon n square plus 1. 1 upon n square plus 1. Now mind well, here you have to do the addition of fractions where the arithmetic comes, actual arithmetic comes and you may miss something here. Don't do any calculation mistakes here. We have to find out the first three terms. What will be first three terms? T1 will be replace n by 1. 1 upon 1 square plus 1 that is 1 plus 1 that is 2. What will be T2 equal to? 1 upon 2 square plus 1 that is 1 upon 4 plus 1 that will be equal to 5 upon 4. How you do, how you do this? Cross multiplication and addition. What will be T3 equal to? 1 upon 3 square plus 1 that is equal to 1 upon 9 plus 1 that is 10 upon 9. So these are the first three terms. So answer will be the first three terms of the given sequence are 2, 5 by 4 and 10 by 9. Very simple. Such sums generally come for the two marks. Now let us see one sum including sum of the sequence. For a sequence Tn, if Sn, now they are given Sn is equal to n upon n plus 1. Find the first three terms of this sequence. Now what is Sn? Sn is equal to T1 plus T2 plus T3 plus Tn. Sn will be the addition of all the terms in that sequence. Right? So now, what will be the S1? S1 will be equal to 1 upon 1 plus 1, that is 1 upon 2. What will be S2? That is the sum of the first two terms, first term plus second term, that is T1 plus T2. 2 upon 2 plus 1, that is 2 by 3. What is S3? 3 upon 3 plus 1, that is 3 upon 4. Now we know that, just we have seen the formula, that is S2 minus, what is T2 is equal to? We have the formula Tn 
is equal to Sn minus Sn minus 1. We have seen this formula. T2 will be equal to S2 minus S1. So let us find out T2. What is S2? We have found out S2 is 2 upon 3. What is S1? Is 1 upon 2. Let us calculate cross multiplication. 2 into 2, 4. 4 minus 3 upon 6. That is 1 upon 6. What will be T3 equal to S3 minus S2? What is S3? 3 upon 4. What is S2? 2 upon 3. So quickly solve this. This is 9 minus 8 upon 12. That is 1 upon 12. And what is T1? T1, very simple. T1 is equal to S1 minus S0. Now there is no S0. So you need not consider the S0. Sum of 0 terms is 0. Right? So T1 will be definitely equal to S1. So now what are the first three terms of this sequence are T1, 1 upon 2, then 1 upon 6 and 1 upon 12. These three are the first three terms of any of this sequence, this particular sequence whose sum is denoted by the formula n upon n plus 1. I will explain this again. Kai kela upon? इथे आपल्याला tn दिले नाहीये tn चा फॉर्म्युला दिलेला नाहीये आपल्याला काय दिलाय सम चा फॉर्म्युला दिलाय आता सम चा फॉर्म्युला tn चा फॉर्म्युला जर का दिला असेल तर त्याच्यावरून पहिल्या तीन टर्म्स चार टर्म्स काढणं अतिशय सोपं आहे जस्ट सब्स्टिट्यूट n 1 2 3 एंड यू विल गेट द फर्स्ट थ्री टर्म्स फोर टर्म्स व्हाट एवर इट इज बट व्हेनेवर द s सम इज गिवन बाय सम फॉर्म्युला एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द फर्स्ट थ्री टर्म्स T1, T2, T3. We know you have to remember this formula. Tn is equal to Sn minus Sn minus 1. How many terms we have to find out? 3 terms. So we have to find out the sum up to 3 terms. S1, S2 and S3 we have to find. Formula is given. Just substitute and we found a 3 sums. S1, S2 and S3 we have already found out. Now we have to find the terms. What will be T2 is equal to S2 minus S1. T3 will be equal to S3 minus S2. And what is T1? T1 is nothing but S1. S1 and T1 are same. So the problems can be come in two ways. First, they will give the formula for the nth term. And you have to find the first three, four terms. Second way, they will give you the formula for the sum of the sequences and you have to find a first three or four terms these two type of examples are there so now let us solve exercise 1.1 so friends we have learned this topic thoroughly we have solved some examples for practice but we are going to solve all the exercises which are given in the book along with the problem set then the hearts some paper solutions everything we are going to solve for further solution of exercises and problem set, please purchase our DVD. You can buy our DVD online by visiting our websites. The address for the websites or the place where you can buy your DVDs are given just below this video in the description. Thank you very much.